Each of the recent versions of Microsoft Word have provided some support for tablet PCs, laptop computers that support handwriting or drawing. I'm recording this movie on a Toshiba tablet PC so I can show you the new inking features in this version of Word, Word 2010. But first I'd like to show you a little bit about what a tablet PC looks like and how it operates for those of you who don't use them. From the outside, most tablet PCs look like regular laptops, but when you open them up, they have either a touch screen or a stylus that you can use to write on a screen that's not necessarily a touch screen or a combination of the two. Uh, typically, there's some way that you can turn the screen over so that you can actually carry it as if you were carrying a thick clipboard with lots of paper on it, and that you can easily write on this surface. So this is made for people to take into the field, uh, for engineers to use, for example, while they're out drawing at sites, or they're used in medical applications, lots of other places. And then some of us simply have tablet PCs because we like to be able to use a tablet. So here I am in, in my application, and I need to review this document. There are other people reviewing it as well. And I'd like to review this on my tablet PC rather than using track changes or anything else. I want to make some broad comments about how I'd like this document to be altered. So I'm going to go to the Review tab, and you'll note two commands that are here because I'm running a tablet PC operating system. The first is ink comment. And the second is start inking. If you're running Word 2010 on a regular laptop or desktop, you won't see either of those two commands. So I'm going to start inking. I click start inking and the ink tools turn on. There's a pens tab and various pens. I can choose a pen and set both the color of the ink I use. I could use themed colors, for example. And I can also set the thickness of the line that I want to draw. I have a pen a highlighter, an eraser, and a pointer that I can use to select objects, for example, charts or, or pictures on the screen. So I'm simply going to make some comments, and you'll notice that as I do, because I'm no longer using the mouse but now using my stylus, that you actually will see a small mouse shape appear on the screen, and you won't see the mouse then move until I put the stylus back down again to highlight, for example, inked annotations and comments. I'd like to make a comment about that, so now I'm going to click on the pen. Notice that the indicator changed from highlighter to pen, and I'm going to circle comments, okay? So I'm going to make a note that I would like to have comments actually appear in a separate section. So, so I'm going to just make a note that says separate these. I also don't necessarily want to include the heading support for manual reviews. Actually, support and inked should both be verbs. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to circle support. And I'm going to make a note that asks, where's the verb here? I have some text that I don't necessarily want to remove, but I do want to pay attention to it. So I'm going to choose a different color pen other than red. I have access to a whole palette of colors. And I'm going to circle this text. And make a note that I want someone to check this information because I'm not clear it's correct. Finally, I have some good news. I really like the thinking and inking heading, so, so I'm going to highlight this wonderful title, switch back over to the pen, and I'm going to make a note, maybe even draw an arrow. Because I think this is absolutely a great title. Now here's the part that's new, as well as simply being able to ink so well here in uh, Word 2010, is if I go back to the Review tab, I can also insert an inked comment. So if I have some text selected, and I wanted to insert a comment, that would place a comment here in the document. And I can type in this comment box any comment I want. However, I can also insert an inked comment that doesn't require me to type. So I can choose ink comment. And it says right here, so I could put some more information and say, for example, get new figures for sales. 
or any other comment I want to put in. Now, when somebody's reviewing this, my handwritten comment will show up in the same way that somebody could display the comment that I would have typed in the space. So let's return back to the Home tab, and let's save this document. And I'm simply going to save this on my desktop, and I'll give it the same name. And now I'm going to close the document. Continuing on, here's what's cool. In this version of Word, I can actually save those comments. In prior versions, I couldn't save my annotation. So it was great that I could do drawings, but I couldn't have this mix where I was annotating text, saving it, and passing it back along to somebody who wanted me to review it. So note that with this version of Word, Word 2010, and the new inking capabilities, we finally have a Word version that supports users who either prefer to work with tablets or who want to be able to edit on screen with pen in exactly the same way that they might edit documents on paper. Word 2010's inking capabilities only apply to tablet users, but for those of us who work in the tablet world, we couldn't be happier.